The Free Software Foundation is a 501 non-profit organization founded by Richard Stallman on 4 October 1985 to support the free software movement, which promotes the universal freedom to study, distribute, create, and modify computer software, with the organization's preference for software being distributed under copyleft terms, such as with its own new general public license. The FSF was incorporated in Massachusetts, USA, where it is also based. From its founding until the mid-1990s, FSF's funds were mostly used to employ software developers to write free software for the new project. Since the mid-1990s, the FSF's employees and volunteers have mostly worked on legal and structural issues for the free software movement and the free software community. Consistent with its goals, only free software is used on the FSF's computers. History The Free Software Foundation was founded in 1985 as a non-profit corporation supporting free software development. It continued existing new projects such as the sale of manuals and tapes, and employed developers of the free software system. Since then, it has continued these activities, as well as advocating for the free software movement. The FSF is also the steward of several free software licenses, meaning it publishes them and has the ability to make revisions as needed. In March 2003, SCO filed suit against IBM alleging that IBM's contributions to various free software, including FSF's new, violated SCO's rights. While FSF was never a party to the lawsuit, FSF was subpoenaed on November 5, 2003. During 2003 and 2004, FSF put substantial advocacy effort into responding to the lawsuit and quelling its negative impact on the adoption and promotion of free software. In 2007, the FSF published the third version of the new general public license after significant outside input. The FSF holds the copyrights on many pieces of the new system, such as new compiler collection. As holder of these copyrights, it has the authority to enforce the copyleft requirements of the new general public license when copyright infringement occurs on that software. From 1991 until 2001, GPL enforcement was done informally, usually by Stallman himself, often with assistance from FSF's lawyer, Eben Moglen. Typically, GPL violations during this time were cleared up by short email exchanges between Stallman and the violator. In the interest of promoting copyleft assertiveness by software companies to the level that the FSF was already doing, in 2004 Harold Welter launched GPL-violations.org. In late 2001, Bradley M. Kuhn, with the assistance of Moglen, David Turner, and Peter T. Brown, formalized these efforts into FSF's GPL Compliance Labs. From 2002 to 2004, high-profile GPL enforcement cases, such as those against Linksys and OpenTV, became frequent. GPL enforcement and educational campaigns on GPL compliance was a major focus of the FSF's efforts during this period. In December 2008, FSF filed a lawsuit against Cisco for using GPL-licensed components shipped with Linksys products. Cisco was notified of the licensing issue in 2003 but Cisco repeatedly disregarded its obligations under the GPL. In May 2009, FSF dropped the lawsuit when Cisco agreed to make a monetary donation to the FSF and appoint a free software director to conduct continuous reviews of the company's license compliance practices. From 2003 to 2005, FSF held legal seminars to explain the GPL and the surrounding law. Usually taught by Bradley M. Kuhn and Daniel Ravicher, these seminars offered CLE credit and were the first effort to give formal legal education on the GPL, current and ongoing activities. The new project The original purpose of the FSF was to promote the ideals of free software. The organization developed the new operating system as an example of this. 
New licenses The New General Public License is a widely used license for free software projects. The current version was released in June 2007. The FSF has also published the new Lesser General Public License, the new Free Documentation License, and the new Avaro General Public License. New Press The FSF's publishing department, responsible for publishing affordable books on computer science using freely distributable licenses, the free software directory. This is a listing of software packages that have been verified as free software. Each package entry contains 47 pieces of information such as the project's homepage, developers, programming language, etc. The goals are to provide a search engine for free software, and to provide a cross-reference for users to check if a package has been verified as being free software. FSF has received a small amount of funding from UNESCO for this project. It is hoped that the directory can be translated into many languages in the future. Maintaining the free software definition FSF maintains many of the documents that define the free software movement. Project Hosting FSF hosts software development projects on its Savannah website. H. No, this is a listing of hardware and device drivers that have been verified as compatible with free software. Advocacy FSF sponsors a number of campaigns against what it perceives as dangers to software freedom, including software patents, digital rights management in user interface copyright. Defective by Design is an FSF-initiated campaign against DRM. It also has a campaign to promote OGG plus Vorbus, a free alternative to proprietary formats like MP3 and AAC. FSF also sponsors free software projects it deems high priority, annual awards, award for the advancement of free software, and free software award for projects of social benefit, high priority projects. The FSF maintains a list of high-priority projects, to which the Foundation claims that there is a vital need to draw the free software community's attention. The FSF considers these projects important because computer users are continually being seduced into using non-free software. Because there is no adequate free replacement, current high-priority tasks include reverse engineering proprietary firmware, reversible debugging in new debugger, developing automatic transcription and video editing software, Nash, new Octave, Corbett, drivers for network routers and creating replacements for Skype, Google Earth, OpenDuke libraries, BitTorrent Sync and Oracle Forms. Previous projects highlighted as needing work included the free Java implementations, new class path, and new compiler for Java, which ensure compatibility for the Java part of OpenOffice.org and the GNOME desktop environment. The effort has been criticized by Michael Larabel for either not instigating active development or for being slow at the work being done, even after certain projects were added to the list. Hardware Endorsements The FSF maintains a Respects Your Freedom Hardware Certification Program. To be granted certification, a product must use 100% free software, allow user installation of modified software, be free of backdoors and conform with several other requirements. Currently, a total of eight products have been granted the certification, including three laptops, a 3D printer, a wireless router, and a USB interface wireless adapter. The eight certified products are the Liberboot X200 laptop, the Liberboot X60 laptop, Aleph Objects, Inc., Lultzbot 3D printers, the Thing Penguin TPE NWIFIROUTER Wireless N Broadband Router, the Thing Penguin TPE N150 USB Wireless N USB, the Thing Penguin TPE N150 USB L Wireless USB Adapter, the Tenoetic Wireless USB Adapter for New Linux Libra, the Taurinus X200 Laptop by Libiquity Structure. Or the FSF's Board of Governors includes amongst themselves professors at leading universities, senior engineers, and founders.
A few high-profile activists and software businessmen are admitted as well. Currently on the board there is one high-profile activist and one world-class software campaign strategist. There was once a majorly contributing programmer and businessman who lost favor badly. Founders are also major software developers of the free software in the new project. John Sullivan is the current FSF executive director. Previous members that occupied the position were Peter T. Braun and Bradley M. Kuhn. Current board members. Hal Abelson, founding member, professor of computer science at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Geoffrey North, senior software engineer at SFA, Inc. Henry Poole, founder of Civic Actions, a grassroots campaign technology consulting firm. Richard Stallman, founding president, launched the new project, author of the new general public license. Gerald J. Sussman, professor of computer science at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Benjamin Mako Hill, assistant professor at the University of Washington. Bradley Kuhn, executive director of the Software Freedom Conservancy and FSF's former executive director. Matthew Garrett, software developer. Kat Walsh, copyright and technology attorney, free culture and free software advocate, and former chair of the Wikimedia Foundation. Previous board members include Lawrence Lessig, professor of law at Stanford University, Robert J. Shassel, founding treasurer, as well as a founding director, Len Tower Jr., founding member, Miguel de Icaza, Eben Moglin, voting the FSF Articles of Organization state that the board of directors are elected. The bylaws say who can vote for them. The board can grant powers to the voting membership. Employment at any given time, there are usually around a dozen employees. Most, but not all, work at the FSF headquarters in Boston, Massachusetts. Membership On November 25, 2002, the FSF launched the FSF Associate Membership Program for Individuals. Bradley M. Kuhn launched the program and also signed up as the first associate member. Associate members hold a purely honorary and funding support role to the FSF. Legal Eben Moglin and Dan Ravicha previously served individually as pro bono legal counsel to the FSF. Since the forming of the Software Freedom Law Center, legal services to the FSF are provided by that organization. Financial most of the FSF funding comes from patrons and members. Revenue streams also come from free software-related compliance labs, job postings, published works, and a web store. FSF offers speakers and seminars for pay, and all FSF projects accept donations. Revenues fund free software programs and campaigns, while cash is invested conservatively in socially responsible investing. The financial strategy is designed to maintain the foundation's long-term future through economic instability. The FSF is a tax-exempt organization and posts annual IRS Form 990 filings online. Criticism Linus Torvalds has criticized FSF for using GPL v3 as a weapon in the fight against DRM. Torvalds argues that the issue of DRM and that of a software license should be treated as two separate issues. On June 16, 2010, Joe Brockmeyer, a journalist at Linux magazine, criticized the defective by design campaign by the FSF as negative and juvenile and not being adequate for providing users with credible alternatives to proprietary software. FSF responded to this criticism by saying that there is a fundamental difference between speaking out against policies or actions and smear campaigns and that if one is taking an ethical position, it is justified, and often necessary, to not only speak about the benefits of freedom but against acts of dispossession and disenfranchisement, recognition. The free software movement has become recognized as a global cultural movement, and the Free Software Foundation has become recognized as an industry player in software, publishing, economics, jurisprudence, politics and other cultural realms.
Key players and industries that have made honorific mention and awards include 1999, Linus Torvalds for Open Source Computing, 2001, New Project received the USENIX Lifetime Achievement Award for the ubiquity, breadth, and quality of its freely available redistributable and modifiable software, which has enabled a generation of research and commercial development. 2005, Pre-ARS Electronica Award of Distinction in the category of Digital Communities.